Let's review Math, Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 33. Multi-digit multiplication and division. Topic G, division of thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. This rectangle has an area of 672 square inches and a width of 3 inches. So let's put that information in. I know that this width is going to be 3 inches. And I know that the inside of the rectangle is going to be 672 square inches because the square inches part tells me that it's the area of this rectangle. Now to figure out the area, we multiplied length times width. So in this case, the width was 3 inches, but the length we don't know. So that tells us that 3 inches times this number of inches, whatever this is going to be, would give us 672. So I'm going to put this to the side for now and we're going to take a look at 672. In order for me to find the area of this rectangle, I would multiply three times a number. With that information, I know that if I divide 672 square inches by 3 inches, then I should get the number across the top. I should get the length of this rectangle. The problem is, I look at 672 and I don't know what 3 times what would equal 672. So what I can do is I can break this 672 down. I can think about 672 in unit form. So when I break 672 down, I'm going to break my rectangle down. And I'm going to say, okay, I think this part of the rectangle could be represented with the 600s. That would leave me with 72. When I think about 72, I know that 60 is in there. So this part of the, rep the rectangle, I'm going to represent as 60. I think I'm going to move that over a little bit. So the area of this rectangle is 600 square inches. The area of this rectangle is 60 square inches. So the area of this rectangle would have to be 12. 600 plus 60 plus 12 is 672. So I can break this number down. Now, you might say, why didn't you just put 70 in here? But when I look at 60, I know that 60 is a multiple of 3. I don't know that about 70. I don't think it is. But 60, I know is. Because 2 times 3 is 6. So 2 tens times 3 would be 6 tens. And then 12, I know 12 is a multiple because 3 times 4 equals 12. So, what times 3 would give me 600? Be 200. 200 times 3 is 600. So, what times 3 would give me 60? Well, like I said before, if I think of six, 60 as being 6 tens, then I could say 2 tens times 3 would be 6 tens because 2 times 3 is 6. 2 tens is equal to 20. And then something times 3 gives me 12. That would be 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So now I have figured out the area of this rectangle by multiplying 3 times 2. The area of this rectangle I figured out by multiplying 20 times 3. And the area of this rectangle we got by multiplying 4 times 3. So now if I put 200, 20, and 4 together, I get 224. So the length 
of this part of the rectangle is 224. So that is the length of that rectangle. Now let's take a look at this using number bond thinking. What I know is that I have 672 as my whole number of square inches. And then I need to break that up into parts. Well, I broke it up into three parts, and I'm going to show you those parts now. 600 is one of those parts. 60 is one of those parts. And 12 is one of those parts. 600 plus 60 plus 12 is 672. What we did was we divided 600 by 3, we divided 60 by 3, and we divided 12 by 3. And we got these answers. 600 divided by 3 is 200. 60 divided by 3 was 20. And 12 divided by 3 was 4. And we put that together and we got 224. So what times 3 equaled 672? 224. Let's divide 1,216 by 4 using our area model. So our area model is going to be this rectangle. And what do we know about area? We know that length times width is going to equal the area. So let's say that this side, since I'm dividing by 4, I'm going to make this side 4. The inside is going to be 1,216. So I need to figure out the top portion. 4 times this number, whatever is going to be up on top, is going to equal 1,216. So let's think about that. 4 times blank, the number that goes up here, is equal to 1,216. Put that down here so we can save it, and we'll come back to it. But let's think about 1,216. I would prefer to break this number up when I need to divide it. I could set it up in a long division algorithm, but sometimes that's difficult, and this is just a different way to think about it. I'm going to use number bond thinking to help me. Okay, so here's my number bond. And what I want to do is I'm going, to, I'm going to say that I have 1,216 as my whole. That's my big portion. And I'm going to break this up into two parts. So I'm going to take this out of there because now this rectangle is going to be broken up into two rectangles. I'm going to break it up like so. Okay. When I look at 1,216, what I want to look for is what multiples of 4 can I pull out of here? And I see a 12 here, but this isn't just 12. This is 12 hundreds. So I can pull out 12 hundreds, and that would leave me with 16 ones. So now I have 12 hundreds, and I have 16 ones. If I put my 12 hundreds in here and my 16 ones in here. Then when I think about 4 times what would give me 1200 and 4 times what would give me 16. Well, let's do the 16 first. 4 times 4 is 16. So this is 4 rows and in each row we have 4 squares. That makes 16. So the area of this rectangle is 16. Now let's figure out what the length of this part of this rectangle is. 4 times what would give me 1,200 or 1,200? But if I think about this in unit form, 12 hundreds, then I can think 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 hundreds times 4 would be 12 hundreds. 
I can see that this length is 300 plus 4 ones. 300 plus 4 ones is 304. So 1216 divided by 4 is 304. Okay, let's look at something from the problem set. It says Ursula solved the following division problem by drawing an area model. So here's her area model, and it looks like she had a width of 4, and she had a number for the inside, which was 400 plus 400 plus 80 plus 12. So 880 plus 12 would be 92. So 892 was what she was dividing. 892 divided by 4. We can also think the area, she saw, you can solve that by multiplying 4 times, or the width times the length. And that's 100, 223. So 4 times 223 would equal the area, which was 892. So what division problem did she solve? 892 divided by 4. This inside portion, she divided by 4, and this is the divisor. This is the length from the area problem. Now part B says, show a number bond to represent Ursula's area model and represent the total length using the distributive property. Okay, so the whole was what was on the inside, which we said was 892. She divided it into four parts. This is a part, this is a part, this is a part, this is a part. So 400, and then another 400, and then an 80, and then a 12. So this is the number bond showing how she broke up 892 when she needed it to divide it into four parts. Okay, now it says we showed the number bond that represented the area model, but we need to figure out the total length using the distributive property. So what did she do to this 400? What did she do to get 100? Well, let's look at each one. She divided 400 by 4 and she got 100. Then she divided 400 by 4 again. It's up here. And she got 100. Then she divided 80 by 4. Then she divided 12 by 4. So 892 divided by 4 was 223. All right, that's going to do it for lesson 33. We've been working to explain the connection of the area model of division to the long division algorithm for three and four digit dividends. And you can get a collection of the videos if you go to tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4. Also, you can Get the videos if you go to lpssonline.com, hover over Parent Command Center, scroll down to Math Resources, click on 4th grade, and this is the last lesson for Topic G, but you can get the newsletter, and the newsletter can help you. And if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, you can find the helpful videos.